Hello, yarn tubers. Welcome back to Wanderlust Crochet with Dana and Jack Jack. I got to ask you, what do you do or say when someone says, I want to learn to do that? I mean, we're fiber artists and we impress people sometimes. In September, we prepare to help them learn. Today's video is a discussion among all of us about having the materials ready for anyone who wants to learn our fiber art. And be sure to stay till the end to see how you can get even more ideas on creating your own kind of kit for beginners. So what is promoting fiber arts all about? It is about promoting our life skill, our art, what we do with our fiber arts to the muggles. And who are the muggles? People who don't do what we do. The last thing we want is for any of these arts to die because like I said, they're not only an art, they are life skills. So that's what promoting fiber arts is all about. And we have a different challenge every month and this month is September and September is about having a, a beginner kit ready for someone who says that they want to learn what we do. That's how we promote in September. Now, <laughs> I used to have a gallon bag that had some cotton yarn in it and a hook and a little pair of scissors and I think a needle. And then I had printed out a, um, like a, a, a page of, you know, YouTube channels that people could, could go to, to learn how to crochet some really good ones. Um, Jaden Stitches is great. The American Crochet Association. That's that's my jam. Uh, Mikey, Bella Coco, all of those. Those are all the people that helped me get started, restarted in crochet. Now, there are also, you know, when we're talking about fiber arts, we're, we're talking about more than crochet. We're talking about knitting and plastic canvas, cross stitch, hand embroidery, sewing, quilting, felting. All of these things, you know, mention down below, what is your fiber art? What is your fiber life skill? Um, because we want to include all of that. I think it's important that we are clothed in the future and have blankets and have mug rugs so, and quilts. Okay, so September is about the beginner kit. So I have gotten rid of the old one and now... This is what I have. Um, because I got certified as an instructor through the American Crochet Association, I now have this pretty gold bag. It's a, it's a medium sized bag. And what I've got in it, this is the Crochet Lessons um, folder with um, the lesson plan and all the information they need um, for their first lesson. What else is in here? I'll show you. I um, we learned that it's best. I mean, thinking about think about learning your penmanship in the first grade. We had big fat pencils with lined paper, right? Well, it's kind of the same way. So I'm using I love this chunky and an oversized hook for that. In these, um, I got all of this stuff off of Amazon basically, except for the folder itself, which I got at Buy Mart. And the chunky yarn, of course, I got at Hobby Lobby. And I priced all this out to be cheap and easily sourced for the new crocheter. And I want you to think about all of this regarding whatever your fiber art is. Knitting, cross-stitch, embroidery, plastic canvas, whatever. If you're passionate about what you do, I, I think you should consider sourcing out some of these things. These little bags I got for pennies a piece because I bought them in bulk on Amazon. Um, I will link all this in the description box. Um, also, I got these, these kind of stitch markers to where they just push them on. Now, I also included a bobby pin in this little notions bag because I want to impress upon a beginner that you can use a lot of things, even just a cut piece of yarn as a stitch marker. I got these little scissors off of Amazon. Um, 
Here's another bobby pin. I got a bunch of these needles, great big things, um, off of Amazon. Bought them in bulk. Got them pretty cheap. Now, at um, Hobby Lobby, these were on sale. And these, actually, these hooks, I like that they've got a pretty decent size handle. Um, they're okay. These are the Yarnology that we get from Hobby Lobby. And, of course, I made this pretty big. I have no idea where my glasses are. Um, I got a big hook. Big hook. Size L which is a eight millimeter. When this yarn actually only calls for like a six, 6.5, let's verify that. Cause we want great big, great big hooks for their first lesson. Has anybody seen my glasses? Here they are. <laughs> okay. So this is asking for a 6.5 millimeter. Now I, I prefer to use a much bigger hook for a brand new beginner. So tell me in the comments, what is it that you guys, you, you know, would use if you were to keep a little, you know, even if it was just a Ziploc bag with something in it, in case you're ever in that situation where you're crocheting, maybe sitting in a waiting room, in the doctor's office, dentist, whatever, and someone says, you know, I really want to learn that. And you can whip something out and say, hey, if you're serious and you got a minute, I can teach you. Or you can do what I did before where you just hand them the kit not a lot of follow-up on that, but, um, and give them your phone number so they can call you and ask you questions and have like a list of YouTube channels to go check out and search terms like how to crochet for absolute beginners, right? If they want to search YouTube for the, you know, the best video for them. So tell me what you guys think. Would you, um, would you include more pen and paper um, and think about what if, um, you know, you're a cross stitcher, you know, are you, you're including a little beginner pattern or one of those little kits that you can buy, you know, you can go a lot of different directions on that. So let's, um, let's talk about what is available. Like I'll have a list of Amazon links in the description box. Things like dimensions, watering can, counted cross stitch for beginners. So like I said, here at the end, I'm going to give you a bunch of these. Free block, four set plastic canvas box kit, plastic canvas kit for beginners. Braid of, bread of, four set embroidery stitches practice kit. Oh, that looks fun. Mayboos, I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right, F needle felting starting kit, knitting kits for beginner adults, fabric and stitch beginner crochet kit, craftastic learn to sew kit, connecting threads beginner lap throw quilt kit. So you can run into Amazon and, you know, from any of these links down in the description box, and you can get an idea of what is listed in the commercial kits. You don't have to, you know, buy that. Or if you want to save money, you could buy one of those or save time, I mean, um, or, and, or you can just use those as ideas for a beginner kit. Now I want to hear from you guys. Um, how do you feel about, you know, being in, you know, lesson ready. Uh, I think it's important, you know, if they are serious about that or they're just saying that, you know, you can kind of feel that out and say, hey, I can teach you something right now. I got materials for you. And here's my phone number. I'll teach you how to do the double crochet. And um, you can um, call me anytime and be sure to check out YouTube for tutorials. How do you guys feel about that? I think it's important to be ready with beginner kits. 
And like I said, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're knitting, crocheting, plastic canvas, counted cross stitch, hand embroidery, sewing, quilting, and felting. Like I said below, the goal is to pro provide you with indispensable insights into the materials that are vit vital for fiber arts instruction. Uh, I think it's very important to carry these on. Okay, what's next? <sighs> now I want you, that's, that's all I have today for promoting fiber arts in September of 2023. Um... I want you to stay tuned for more yarn reviews with tutorials, project ideas for crochet, and more promoting fiber art videos in the upcoming months. I print, I, I keep telling myself I'm going to be more consistent in these monthly videos about promoting fiber arts. Well, now I'm serious. I'm really going to do it this time. Okay? Okay, I love you guys. Bye.